do you struggle with coming up with ideas on what to talk about on a Facebook Live or if you're gonna go live on Instagram or shoot a video and that seems to paralyze you as to, but I don't know what to talk about. I don't know, I don't have any ideas. My brain shut down. If that's the case, I have a surefire way for you that I'm gonna share on how to have almost limitless context or content and ideas for you to talk about on your lives. Hey, how you doing? My name's Ryan J. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna talk to you about today and draw out for you is a method I call, or I don't call it, it's not my idea, I'm not taking, I this is not my creative. This, um, what would it be called? Strategy? Okay, it's a strategy. Comes from one of my coaches and mentors, Ray Higdon. He came up with this. It's the ILT method. ILT method for limitless content when you're going live or shooting videos. And here's what it is. I, invest. Invest your time, invest money, invest, while well, you're putting forth your effort to invest in yourself. The L is you learn it, okay? You learn the thing that you're investing your time in. And then the T is to teach it. So teach it in a format like posting a video, doing your live. So in, you invested your time, your money, and your effort. Then you learned it. And then you take what you learn and you teach it. So pretty straightforward and simple. Now, how does that look like? Okay, well, per example, um, this book right here, The Richest Man in Babylon. Awesome book. It's about uh, fundamentals, fundamentals of money management and essential learning when it comes to how to manage your money and to budget and that sort of stuff. Great book. I'm personally using this book to teach my daughter about uh, money and finance and how that works. Okay, so since I'm teaching her and we're learning together because I'm reading it to her, short little book, short little book. But it's excellent, right? So I'm teaching her, then I, me, I'm like, oh, this is good stuff. A lot of people should know about how money works and uh, interest and saving and is interest good and or bad, you know, that sort of thing. Well, in this book are, I don't know, chapters, the first cure, the cure for money, then there's the uh, gold tab or the tablets and a whole bunch of principles. So what I've done is broke it up each chapter into individual individual their own segments of a live video or like this goes on my YouTube so from this little book that takes literally about an hour and a half to read I have five pieces of content now anytime I do anytime I am learning something of course always you know edify where the information comes from it's not like I do these videos and say, hey, this is what I learned and I'm the smartest guy ever. No, yeah, I the content you're watching right now and the ILT method comes from Ray Higdon. The finance tips and how money works comes from this book, The Richest Man in Babylon. You know what I'm saying? So, and never once using this method has anybody got on in the comments or you know spread hate of that's not your original idea you can't do that you know it, it's not like that people don't really care where the information comes from as long as you're providing value okay cool noted write that down they don't care as long as you're providing value psh, they're good with it now 
another example of this ILT method. This last week, I've been extremely busy. I've been going through these challenges, which means I'm learning. Now, me, when I'm putting forth my effort into learning or taking in the content, I take notes, whole bunch of notes. So I was in a coaching challenge. I was in a marketing challenge. I took notes from, I was in Grant Cardone's thing. He had like two things going on this week. And I took notes on every single one of these that I went through. So every, now let me ask you, what do you usually do with your notes? Do you just write it down, write it down and like, okay, cool. Let's just set this over here. And maybe one day I will uh, reread my notes. Okay. Well, that is excellent material for you to do a video on, whether it's live, whether in whatever format it's going on. Teach the material that you have taken notes on and get it out there. That's why I call this file, I even have it labeled. This is at least 100K. Oh, every single challenge I've ever gone through, right here. Uh, this is endless material to do content on. Is it making sense? So using that method, investing your time in learning something or, or whether it's paid or whether uh, you're checking out a book or whether it's a podcast, it doesn't matter how you learned it. Maybe you watched something interesting on Netflix and you're like, hmm, that's interesting. I did not know that. Okay, you taught yourself, then teach it to others. Super simple, super easy. Now, why do I call that file down there 100K? Because utilized properly with the correct call to action. Now, why are you producing videos in the first place? Because you want somebody to do something, whether it's follow you, uh, like follow you, uh, maybe you have something to sell, it's your product or your service, your opportunity, whatever that is, um, follow it up with a call to action. So you're going to get the viewer of whatever you're doing it on to reach out to you some way, shape, or form and get them to interact with you so that you can have a conversation. All right? So... With all that notes, with the proper call to action and a conversation, and then introducing uh, the product, service, or opportunity, you know, that gets the cash register ringing. Cha-ching! All right. Makes sense? I hope that provided value. Oh, and here's a good call to action that you can use in this. Simply by saying, if you found this valuable, and you'd like a copy of my notes, just send me a DM and I'll, you know, take a picture and I'll, and you can screenshot it or something like that. That gets the conversation going. Cool. Again, I hope this provided value. I hope you took notes and I hope you can teach this in your next video. Make it a great day. Bye.